Namaskar, Namaste, Sadnam, Ahomadakwasin to all our relations, blessings, and welcome. So, this rising, we're going to just mostly focus energetically on the physical body and just go through every layer of the body through breath and visualization. And then there will be uh, two different kriyas or meditations. One is a mantra meditation with the mantra Ram for Manipura or the solar plexus and then we'll do a Kundalini Kriya called Kirtan Kriya which is with the mantras Sa, Ta, Na, Ma and includes the mudras with each syllable of Sa with the index fingers and thumbs Ta with the middle finger and thumb Na with the ring finger and thumb Ma with the pinky and thumb. I'll re-explain it when we get to that point, but that's just to plant the seed in your mind's eye. And uh, that one goes through three stages of the Kirtan Kriya, and it's to balance the full nervous system by activating those mudra points, as well as um, activating the intuition. And it's a gentle way to connect to the seed sound of Satnam and still bring the kundalini energy up from the base of the body and connect to that satnam truth is our name mantra like in um, sat kriya the truth kriya but without having to activate the whole uh, lower belly center and so it's one way that you can balance your energetic sides without having to do too much serious movement in repetition you can just sort of connect to the energy of the mantra and uh, the voice is mostly what's doing the work and that's part of why it's called kirtan kriya because it creates a bit of a singing circle when you go through it so as we begin and as you're in this practice if you feel like you need to stretch anything out in whatever way calls to you as i go through the breath and visualization then just listen to your body and move how you need to move mostly i'll just be guiding a few light little movements such as opening the neck rolling the shoulders rolling the arms and wrists and eventually we'll get to the legs and rolling the ankles and um <clears throat> so beginning with your own connection to your breath and asking yourself if you have any intentions for your body today intentions for your practice And start with some slow, deep belly breaths, really balancing the breath and finding your deep inhale going all the way up through the top of the head, down into the belly, filling the belly with the inhale. And as you exhale, the energy comes up and out and the belly button goes in towards the spine, creating that slight engagement of the core and that deep connection to the diaphragm. And 
as you begin to cultivate this connection to your slow, deep, balanced breaths, you can envision a light, a white or silver light, circling above the head. Like a little star spinning around the top of the head. Maybe you see it or maybe you work on feeling or sensing the energy. And this little white silvery light starts to spin around the top of the head. And slowly it starts to circle around the forehead and the temples. And you feel the head and neck starting to open a little bit. Maybe you inhale looking up. Exhale looking down. Inhale, leaning your left ear to your left shoulder. Inhale, back to center. And exhale the other side. Take a breath with the right ear to the right shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Big sigh out. <sighs> Inhale, looking over the left shoulder. <sighs> Inhale, coming back to center. <sighs> and inhale, looking over the right shoulder. Exhale. <sighs> inhale, back to center. And then start to roll your shoulders, finding wherever your breath wants to be. Still deep, slow breaths, and just roll out any tension in the shoulders. Whether you move really slowly, or you move a bit quickly through the rolling of the shoulders, just listen to what your body is comfortable doing. rolling out the shoulders and clearing any tension and stress within the shoulders, the deltoids, the scapula, along the collarbones and into the shoulder blades, along the chest. And come back into stillness when you're ready and we'll do our 12 Cleansing inhales and releasing sighs, a shamanic breath cycle you may have caught in some of the sessions recently. You take a deep inhale, envisioning that white light moving through the whole body, and as you go, ha, with a sighing ha breath out, you're releasing any toxins, any insecurities, fears, any energies that may seek to limit your expansion of self. Ha. <sighs> Clearing the way with your breath.
Sorry about that. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Sorry about that Wi-Fi issue. <laughs> I was at six of those breaths, so <laughs> we'll just finish up. <laughs> okay. Deep inhale, big sigh out. with your next one deep inhale and breathing out a circular mouth and then inhaling and exhaling through a smile <coughs> excuse me and then returning to your belly breaths, deep, slow breaths, filling the belly, expanding the diaphragm. And inhale, with your next inhale, lift your arms up in front of you. The palms can stretch out forward, and your arms in line with your shoulders. You can point your hands down, fingertips to the ground, bend the wrists, inhale. Big sigh. Next inhale, point the fingers to your forehead. Big sigh. And then start to roll your wrists out, just breathing deeply and slowly. And then imagine that little sphere, that circle of white and silver light now spinning around the wrists and around the arms and into the shoulders and the chest, starting to spin around the chest, shoulders and arms, this white light, gold light, maybe a different color comes to you. Just move through any tension in the shoulders, the arms, the wrists, maybe bend the elbows a little bit and open the chest back and up lifting the arms up above and around the head and face and then opening and pressing the elbows back and the hands back and opening the chest and heart <coughs> pardon me uniting your breath with your movements and as you do this movement and breath opening the heart, opening the chest, releasing shoulder tension, deepening the breath capacity. See that little light spinning through your lungs, spinning around your heart, around the shoulder sockets and joints, spinning around the rib cage. Take a deep inhale. Pause for a moment with the arms up on your next inhale. Look up to the sky. Release the breath, inhale. Exhale, fold inward a little bit, planting the hands to the knees or thighs, looking towards the ground or towards your lap. Just breathe into the back of the heart for a couple of breaths. With your next inhale, straighten out the spine. And perhaps you want to just stretch out your legs for a moment because we'll come back into our Sukhasana. But maybe you want to stretch out your legs and just roll your ankles. Straighten out the legs a moment. 
maybe open up the hips with the Bhadrakanasana for a moment, shake out the legs, and then find your comfortable seated position when you feel ready again. Just a little shift for the legs and get the energy moving down through the root. And then finding your seat. And for these next two exercises, so we'll be doing a Ram, the seed sound for Manipura, so we'll just be starting with that. And it's going to be just a simple Ram, 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 Ram. And you're just envisioning gold light filling the belly, expanding from the space where the rib cage opens, and out through your field as if every time you say Ram, that light pulses from the core and expands out like a wave into your energy field and your space. And you're, we're calling on the name of Ram or Krishna, and this energy is of infinite compassion and the sustenance of life. So anything in your life that seems like it needs balancing, that you need to preserve, that you need to bring more sustenance, more abundance, more confidence, more trust into, envision that as we go through this. And we'll just be doing three minutes of this, and then we'll move into the Kirtan Kriya, which I'll explain again. And you're welcome to have your hands on the belly, or you're welcome to have the hands face down to the ground. So we're bringing the sound in and grounding it through, listening to your own body. And take a deep inhale, breathe everything out. <sighs> Release anything from the body that is no longer serving. And then affirming, Ram, 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 Ram. Ram, 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 Ram. Ram, 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 Ram. Ram, 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 Ram. Ram, 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 Ram. Ram, 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 Ram. Ram, 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 
Ram, Ram, Ram, Ram, Ram, Ram, Ram, Ram, Ram, Ram, Ram, Ram, Ram. Ram, 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 deep inhale, big sigh out, we'll just take one minute to slow deep breathing, allowing that sound to integrate into the body and into the cells. Deep inhale, big sigh. So the palms will be facing up on the knees and I'll just remind that this is going to be Kirtan Kriya. So we're sequencing through each of the finger mudras. So chin mudra with the index and thumb, then to the next with the middle and thumb, ring and thumb, pinky and thumb. And there is a syllable or a seed sound with each finger placement. So sa with the, the index and thumb, ta with the middle and thumb, na with the ring and thumb, and ma with the pinky and thumb. So your hand, your palms will be face up, going through all four fingers. Sa ta na ma, sa ta na ma. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll go through it like that with the Satanama. So first we're singing it aloud. And then there's uh, a switch where which I'll let us know. It's three minutes aloud. And then you go into a whisper. And then it's three minutes in a whisper. And then you go into silence and we keep it resonating through our minds. And we'll try to do our best to keep the rhythm together. Uh, but it kind of floats into your own rhythm for a little bit and then I bring it back together after three minutes in a whisper Then it's two minutes uh, uh, In a whisper again and then two minutes aloud until the end and uh, This one if you want to create a focus for it It's really about raising your intuition So if there's something in your life that you want more clear vision on right now say a, a move a placement a placement of something in your house a creation you're working on, a project, you can bring that focus into your mind. What, where do I need more clear vision, clarity of vision? And then it's also for balancing the nervous system. So am I living in a balanced way? Is my nervous system balanced? Am I able to give myself rest and digest? Or am I a little bit fight or flight right now? And this Kriya allows us to really sink into the nervous system as well as raise the vibration of our intuition so that we can see with clear vision. 
So calming and activating at the same time because it does go through these marma points which are linked to the fingers and thumbs that activate all these different um, energy lines or meridian lines throughout the system that balance the nervous system and activate the third eye because these points along our fingers with the mudras are also um, sort of like an acupressure situation going on that goes all the way up through the arm into the shoulders and up through this governing meridian line that we have from the third eye point all the way down the spine and out to the tips of the big toes. So some of that people catch in visual when they're doing this process so I like to give a little summary so that if you feel like you want to visualize anything you kind of know the way the energy is moving or you can bring a direct focus of that project you're working on for that you need more clear vision or simply balancing the nervous system. So taking a few breaths first to just consider your intention for the Kriya and starting with your chin mudra so index thing index and thumb and these syllables are the broken up syllables from this from the Sat Nam mantra or truth is my name and they represent uh, infinity life death and rebirth so they're assisting us in balancing the elements of our body and the nervous system by reminding us that everything is a cycle and when we work with our voice through the energies of the body we cycle the energy of infinity life death and rebirth through the body with sound so that's part of the power of this kriya is using the sound and the syllables to really remind the body to regenerate its natural cycle. And we'll begin with the next exhale. Sata Nama Sata Nama Sata Sata Nama Sata Nama Sata Nama Sata Nama Sata Nama Sata Sata Nama Sata Nama Sata Nama Sata Nama Sata Nama Sata Sata Nama 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 Sata 
Tathagata Nama Sata Nama Sata Nama Switching to a whisper Sata Nama Sata Nama Sata Switching to silence, looking up through the third eye, imagining that each syllable comes out the third eye, keeping the mudra going in your rhythm.
Next time you get to Sa, transitioning into a whisper again. Sa, ta, na, na, sa, ta, na, na, sa, ta, na, na, sa, ta, na, na, sa. Uh... 
Sata Nama Sata Nama Sata Nama Inhale and sa Big sigh And now we'll do one long syllable for each of the syllables and mudras so index and thumb sa deep inhale sa middle and thumb uniting in the next mudra for ta ta Mudra ring and thumb for na na and pinky and thumb for ma ma now inhale the arms up palms, fingers spread, and the palms are facing each other above the crown. And you're going to envision looking up and out your third eye and start to envision as if a billion stars, like a universe of stars, is spinning around you. And each of these little stars starts to shine a laser of light through your body. And we're just going to breathe for one minute, Im imagining billions of little pinpoints of light going in and out of the whole body and a billion little pinpoints of stars circulating around the body. See what you feel as you envision this. Imagine all these tiny little pinpoints of light or feel little tiny pinpoints of electrical energy, of light energy, bubbling along your whole body and surrounding your whole body. Grounding in your higher self with your breath, grounding in the balance of the elements, the infinity, the life, the death, the rebirth, the universe that you are, spinning cosmos within you and around you. You are a galaxy, you are a star, you are a universe, you are a multiverse. Deep inhale. As you exhale, bring the palms together and pull them down to your heart center. Deep inhale. Big sigh. And we'll tune out with Sat Nam. Sat Nam. And releasing your hands down and slowly moving, making your way into a Shavasana and taking two minutes to lie down in Shavasana to seal this practice. Just letting your body relax into your Shavasana and again seeing all these billions of stars, these tiny pinpoints of light circulating around and moving in and through your body as if every cell of your body is a little tiny star vibrating, which is almost true. <laughs> every cell of your body a little tiny star vibrating. And feel that, envision that. Sense your infinity within you, the cycle of you coming into natural balance.
Now bring your awareness to the tips of your toes and start to circle that little gold silvery light, this white silvery light that we started with at the top of the head at the beginning of our practice and bring it from the tips of your toes, circling it around or feeling a warmth or cooling sensations circling around your feet. And with each breath, it starts to rise up around the ankles and the calves and shins. A little light massage, a massage of light, a massage of frequency with your mind's eye, concentrating your own vibration to heal and balance your system. And circle this little light up around your knees, clearing the knee joints. And around the thighs and hips, clearing any emotions that may be stuck in the quadriceps or psoas muscles, the hip flexors. And this little light spinning in and around the reproductive center and the sacral chakra, activating creative power and rising again, circulating around the abdomen and the rib cage and the solar plexus, reminding the body of that Ram sound that we began our practice with earlier. And that energy circling up and out with that golden pulse now, activated again, pulsing out with Ram, Ram, expanding out into your aura, bringing protection, bringing healing, bringing balance. You are surrounded in the golden light. You are surrounded in the light of creation, the light of God, the light of divine. You are protected and surrounded in this light. As this grace, this freedom starts to spin around your heart, your, your heart and throat and shoulders and collarbones, all around the head and the neck and up and up and up until it returns to spin around the crown chakra almost like a little moon around your crown chakra spinning and reflecting the light of your divine connection to you and take a few big deep inhales with a big cleansing sigh maybe three to five as you wiggle your toes and wiggle the feet, maybe roll the ankles and roll the wrists as you start to get all the way back into the body again. And bring yourself up to a seat whenever you feel ready. bringing your hands to your heart center, bowing to your own divine self, thanking your body for being here now, thanking your mind for taking the time to focus on the body, and thanking your spirit for allowing you to bring in the divine energy that you truly are into the body. Namaste, Satnam, blessings to you, Loka Samasta, Sukino Bhavantu, may all beings be infinitely happy and free. Thank you so much. Thank you too. I'm glad you enjoyed. You have a beautiful day. Namaste. Namaste. You too. And take good care. <laughs> See you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm having a glitch on this video.
<clears throat> Pardon me. I can't find the end button. 